include everything. All right, guys, so we are back in the Twitch JSON API. What we're going to be doing in this one is we're going to be iterating through the array that we just created, doing another git JSON. We're going to be using something called the git JSON dot done that is slightly different because some of these channels don't exist. So we're basically going to kind of get like a 404 error or basically just an error that says, hey, this guy doesn't exist. And if we didn't do the dot done, it wouldn't come back. It's kind of like when you just do git JSON, you're thinking of the best case scenario. Like, hey, send a request and then receive a response. Now a pause, a success and a success. Now the done will let us get a success on our second try. So in this situation, we send a request, the response back, hey, I don't have that. And then I say, oh, do you have something like this? And they say, yeah, we do, and send it back. That's kind of what the done does. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, because we're gonna need to iterate through all of this info here, we're gonna be using a for loop to do that. And we're gonna be doing multiple JSON calls. All right, so the first thing that we want to do here is we're gonna stay within this git json uh, function here, which I believe is right here. So we're gonna run a for loop here that's going to iterate through our array. Now, if you remember correctly, our following array is just a list of names that we're gonna use in a cat a string for our git json done function. So let's go ahead and just get this set up. So we're, we're going to iterate through the whole thing. All right, uh, var, and we'll call this URL2 is equal to, let me just go ahead and copy and paste this in here. We're going to do the callback on here as well. This callback is going to allow it to say, all right, look, if we get a response, that's not what we're looking for. Callback, go ahead and uh, we're OK with that essentially. So we're gonna, this is where it's gonna get slightly different. So the dot get JSON, we're gonna pass in URL2 here, and then we're gonna call dot done on the function that we're going to call, uh, or that we're gonna pass in a parameter data three. So slightly different, but easy enough to follow. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Let's actually zoom out. So and here is where we're gonna do our code. Now there's a couple things that we could do. Um, I straight up just create three variables here, three local variables, one for logo, one for name, and one for status. So let's do that, var logo, var status, var name. These will be the things that we're going to input here. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to be able to get the info that we want to let's first check if we're getting an error so we should be getting an error for comster 404 and for also for um, Bruno Finn so that's gonna be what we're gonna do right now now the way to check that is we I guess we can just showcase this so we'll do it like this so if data three dot air exists so we're just gonna do that so if there's a this parameter in here uh, did I do one too many so if data three dot air exists console dot log URL two and then I can show you so it looks like that did not work why did that not work Instead of URL2, let's console.log um, data3.air. Interesting. Oh, I see what happened. Alright, so right here, it looks like it thinks it's a string, and that's my fault. I made a mistake here. We just have to get our quotations right. So there's some. Uh, there we go. Now we have unprocessable entity. 
So that's how we know that we're getting an error. Um, why we know that, let's go ahead and output URL2 and it'll take us to what we're trying to get. So, ooh, this is not displaying it, huh? Hmm, that's not working. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and comster 404. And you'll see right here. So comster 404, we're getting this. Status. Our URL is not going through there because it's not succeeding. But this is uh, where we're getting that unprocessable, ent unprocessable entity. Now let's go ahead. And so within here, all we're going to do is basically do the output for the ones that don't succeed. So all we have to do is set logo in here. We're going to set logo equal to a URL of our choice because they don't have an image. So we, but we don't want we want our stuff to look fairly familiar. So we're going to go ahead and set this like this. So we have our logo uh, string, and then from here, all we're going to do is set name equal to data dot message we're also going to set status equal to data to dot air and then we're just gonna prepend to our follower info div right here now if you remember this follower info is everything that's going to be below right below this and we're just going to add on to that because to save myself uh, some time and quotations, we're going to copy pasta my my link in here real quick. Uh, my info, and I'll explain what's going on. Uh, it's mainly just bootstrap stuff and a lot of quotations. So we're going to... Swap out data.message here. And we're going to put in um, name. And we're going to put in status. Alright, looks like it cured itself. So, contact, target, select, use the selector, follower info, and prepend this HTML and information to it here. And then what we should get is some stuff that isn't loading. Uh, it should be loading. So, let's see what we did wrong here. Are you missing a token? Too many. There we go. So, undefined, undefined. We're having some technical difficulties here. All right, let's 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 slow up for a second right here. So, let's make sure our code is working. We instead want to let's take out this console log as well. We want to console.log name we're getting undefined undefined we should not oh this should be data 3 and data 3 there we go so there's our info uh, simple mistake now all we're gonna do here clear this clear this we're gonna do exactly what I did a second ago append our data logo uh, name and uh, status and I believe I've copied one of those over and here we go so channel Bruno fin is not available status on profitable entity so this is our case for when the channels just don't straight up exist so in the next video what we'll do is we'll do it for when they're offline and then when they're online and those will be the kind of the more straightforward ones. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And thank you for anyone who's been supporting me on Patreon and everyone that shares. I really appreciate it. It helps a ton. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. My good friend Matt at Engineered Truth has a three-part interview with Quincy Larson, the founder of Free Code Camp. Go ahead and check that out, and you'll get a lot of really cool stuff.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.